Okay, folks, this is a extreme example of the FX Audio 203. A lot of people aren't talking about these op amps here that are inside the 203. There's two of them. One for the treble and one for the bass. So a lot of people are replacing the tubes, but they're not talking about these cheap op amps that are in there what happens is there's a little adapter in there that's already soldered to the board and you just pop it out and pop another one in no soldering it's pretty straightforward some of these op amps go for two dollars a piece some of them go for a hundred dollars a piece and here these are the opa 627s they're about $50 a piece, and you need two of them because they're single op amps. All these are duals. And this is the Burson V5. What you can do is go to DigiKey or Mauser and pick up an OPA 2134, for instance, is, uh, is going to be around five bucks. And remember, there's two of them in here, okay? LME4972 is around $3. So you're not talking a whole lot of money to drastically change the sound. The FX Audio DAC MK2 has a removable op in, in it also. And I've got a Muses O2 in it. And that's a $50 op amp, but the, the sound is just incredible. You see, these are these here are they're called film capacitors. What I'm doing is I replace the electrolytic. 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor that's in here. I replaced two of them. Each one of these is one microfarad, so there's 10 of them to replace the 10 microfarad. Film caps sound a lot better than electrolytics. Not a lot better, a, a ridiculous amount better. In the spot here, these come in the 203. Now, if you want to be able to replace them and put the top back on and all that and not get crazy like this, these WIMA caps, these are really, really nice. Really good sounding caps. They, uh, they're only like a dollar piece. And it just, the, the change is just amazing. And when you swap out uh, these here, these are really good film caps that's why they're so big compared these are one microfarad these are one microfarad so are these and these are huge compared to these but they sound way better wima is a they uh, made in germany they make really good really good film caps and they just the the sound from the film caps is uh, absolutely amazing compared to electrolytic so yeah these this this brick and this brick replaces those two little electrolytics right there so to recap i you don't have to go this drastic i've got a uh extension just raising this up to clear some of the stuff that's in there so i've got the burson v5 the OPA 627, the can style, they make a chip style, the OPA uh, 627 does. They're $10 cheap. I think they're around 40 bucks a piece, but these are single op amps. Two singles sound better than one dual. You have two dual op amps in your 203. So you just pop them out, just grab a hold of them, pull them out of there. Make sure you put them back in the same way. There's a little dot here. Just pay attention to that. There's a little dot on every one of these and just make sure the orientation is uh, the same way. And other than that, there's nothing to it for $10. I mean, that, that's a big deal. When you, I would, I would rather replace the op amps than I would the tubes. And nobody ever talks about these op amps in these things. It's always the two. They never open them up and even show you what's in, you know, just open it up, you'll see them, you'll see them in there, clear as day, just grab a hold of me, you know, it's, I'm just trying to let people know that you, uh, you can change the sound of your system so easily and so cheaply, and I don't know why uh, people aren't talking, I don't know, but 
someone's talking about it now. So go, go to digikey.com or mauser.com. Just, you can get any dual op amp. It'll say on there how many op amps are in, in each op amp. And amazingly, there's two amps in, in every one of these. They're amazing little things. They're called op amps. So just experiment. Get a whole bunch of I mean, I, I, th I think the OPA627 makes the treble nice and tubish kind of sounding. You know, it's really mellow. It's not, it gets rid of that digital, the digital harshness. And the, the burst of V5 is really good with mids and bass. So that's why I like that one in there. But I've experimented with a bunch of them you know with the from uh sparkos sparkos makes a good op amp they uh they have just uh the burst in here is called a discrete op amp so basically it's a little, two little circuit boards in there and sparkos makes a, a good discrete also they're around 70 dollars i think for the dual op amps but the thing is you'll have to get that extension because they're they're bigger they're square, it won't fit down in there. You'll, you'll run into issues of hitting stuff and then you won't be able to put the top back on it. A lot of people, you know, care about that kind of thing, which I, I evidently, I don't really give a flip by the looks of things. So, hey, usually four capacitors. I've actually got one underneath because they're so big, I don't even have the room, but to get a cheap soldering iron, just pop these old ones out of there. You know, it, it, it's really nothing to it. And we, when you replace them with these, it's just it's incredible. So you got four dollars there. You can get a couple op amps for ten bucks. You know, you look at twenty bucks. Of course, the tubes. I you know, go with the GE. The GE. You know what sounds really good is the nineteen forties, nineteen fifties Sylvania tubes. They sound really nice. But you're you're looking at maybe forty dollars for a pair of tubes instead of. What do they want? Fifteen dollars now for the Russians? I think. I think these are the Russians in there. No, they may be the Sylvanias. Because the oh no, they're the Russians because they've got that little little strip on there. But op amps have a break in around. The sound's going to change on you for the first twenty hours or so. If people say they don't, they're crazy. Same for these uh, film caps. They break in too, especially the WIMA caps. They're ridiculous when it comes to breaking. You're going to think you did something wrong when you put them in there. And after about five hours of playing them, they just come right around. They're the sweetest sound. You actually hear them change. A lot of people don't think there is a burn-in. There is. Those people, they're Van Gogh listeners, evidently, or something, because it's so clearly apparent that it's it's not even a debate so you don't have to get drastic like this just pick up a few of these you always want to replace these cheap chinese they're just junk don't get them off of ebay folks they're, they're faked all the time these op amps they're they're faked all the time mauser or digikey that way you know you're getting the real thing muses o2 it's a 50 dollar op amp sounds fantastic in that DAC MK2. Absolutely fantastic. There's one op amp in there that's replaceable. We pull it out of there. It, I mean, ridiculous how good that sounds. So, all right, there you go. Little crash course replacing op amps. Remember, put them in the same way, they'll go boom.